Hello and congratulations on your recent purchase of the brand new Launch X431 Throttle 3 Scan Tool. Before we get real involved with everything that this tool is capable of doing, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. You can see the components that came with the kit, everything from extra connectors for certain applications like BMW and Nissan, stuff along those lines, as well as four channel lab scope. But the first thing you need to do once you go ahead and open up your box and take your scan tool out is you're going to need to register the actual scan tool and download the latest software. So how do we go about doing that? We obviously power up the scan tool. As we start to go through our box, we notice that inside the box was a plastic little envelope, but inside that envelope was a little card, a little piece of paper, perforated, you gotta rip the sides off so you can open it up, kinda like when you get a check in the mail. Inside there, your scan tool is gonna come to a screen and it's gonna ask you to punch in the actual serial number, which can be found on the back of the scan tool unit itself, also on the VCI unit that's in the kit, the two serial numbers will match, and it's also gonna be found on this little piece of paper. So you'll punch in the serial number, as well as your personal contact information and a registration code. That registration code in theory should only have to be punched into the scan tool one time when you first start registering it, but it's not a bad habit to just keep track of this actual registration code. Once you punch in the eight digit registration code, the scan tool will be registered and you can start using it. But before you start using it, you're gonna notice that Launch is always updating the actual software for the tool. It makes it a lot better for us technicians to have the latest and greatest information available at our fingertips. So go ahead and click the green button icon on the front panel of your tool after it's been registered that says updates with an arrow on it and let it go ahead and download the latest updates. From that point on in the future when you turn it on, if you ever see a little number sign by that green box, that means there's some new updates available. It doesn't take anything, you get the updates free when you first purchase the tool for a short amount of time, so go ahead and make sure that you're always dealing with the latest updates available, especially when it comes to ADOS calibrations.